Welcome to DBeaver's YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about creating a database connection in CloudBeaver. In most of our previous videos, we've talked about how to work with databases in DBeaver, but this time, we're going to help you create the right connection using CloudBeaver. This will come in handy for anyone working with tables. For example, to create advertising reports, you need data from tables in the MariaDB database. To access this database, you need to create a connection. The login information for the account is provided by your company's administrator. Once you're logged in, you'll be directed to the Cloud Beaver main page. Click on the Connections button in the main menu bar to access the Connection Manager. If you've been assigned the user role, you'll only be able to create connections in your private project. In the Connection Manager, Click the Add New Connection button. A new connection configuration window will appear. Select the database type you want to connect to from the list. Fill in the necessary connection fields. What needs to be filled out depends on the database. For example, in the Options window, to create a connection to a MariaDB database with the necessary tables, we need the data to fill in the fields Host, Port, Username, and User Password. You will most likely need SSH key-based authentication for SSH connections to connect to the databases. It's because working with sensitive data requires additional security measures. For more details about connecting via SSH, see the link in the description of the video. Both in the Main Options window and in the SSH Tunnel window, you can check the Save Credentials box so that you don't have to enter them again in the future. If you don't want your login data to be stored on the device, do not select this checkbox. If you want, you can test the connection via SSH Tunnel using the Test Tunnel button. In case of an error, a notification about it will appear in the context window. If all the data is correct and the database server is running, CloudBeaver will report it. Next, click the Test Connection button to verify if the provided connection settings are correct. If the test is successful, you'll see a confirmation message indicating a successful connection. If the test fails, double-check your connection settings and try again. An unsuccessful attempt can occur if the user fills out the fields incorrectly or because of an error on the host server side. After successfully testing the connection, click the Create button to save the configuration. The newly created connection will now appear in the Connection Manager's list of connections and in a tree of objects. Click on the connection name to establish a connection to the database. CloudBeaver will connect to the database and you'll be able to use data from it to create advertising reports or perform other work tasks. We'll tell you more about the features of our browser-based tool in the next videos on the DBeaver channel. Stay tuned!